Good morning and welcome to the BDJ Sessions Brunch Time Show. This is a live stream. Um, we're kind of amongst some Sunshine Coast music royalty here with uh, Mr. Barry Charles and Paul Camilleri. Been on the coast for, uh, for, for decades. I remember seeing um, particularly Barry way, way back in the, uh, in the early 80s and uh, the unique style of his vocals, etc. And these guys have been teamed up just for a few months. They've known each other for a few years and uh, getting together to do some, do some gigs now. The first one they're going to be playing today is called Tea Tree, uh, Tea Tree Bay Blues. Um, Tea Tree Bay, of course, is one of the most beautiful beaches in Queensland as part of the Noosa National Park. And uh, on its day, particularly when there's a cyclone swell, the surf gets really good. And I'm pretty sure Barry's familiar with that because he's done a bit of surfing there over the years as well. So um, first song up is going to be uh, Tea Tree Bay Blues. And uh, take it away, guys. Something in my heart tells me have to get away Stop thinking about tomorrow I'll start living each day Peaceful times I knew Be so natural On in me Torn in me Those tea tree bay blues Single loud sounds, crowded times, feeling run down. Times are so bad, I feel so sad. It's the paradise I found. Green and glassy waves, the fun we had, those cloudless days, only, only, those sea dreams. Something in my heart tells me I have to get away I'm thinking about tomorrow I'll start living each day Peaceful times I knew Be so natural and blue Torn in me, torn in me Those sea dreamy blue Tea tree bay blues Walking through the park On a sunny day Think I'll find my Soul Upon the way Keeping my head up To the sky Letting my worries Fly by Fly by God 
Gotta get away, gotta go back, gotta get away, yeah. Gotta get away, gotta go back, gotta get away, yeah. Gotta get away, gotta go back, gotta get away, gotta go back, gotta get away now. And a teacher. Got to take up my shoes, hung over from the booze. Too much whining and dining. And they wallowed on the floor, the flashing radio clock. Lady, yeah, I wish that boy would stop. I got those Sunday morning paranoid. Cause the gangsters roam the streets Among the hookers and the freaks Like vultures in the air They'll appear from anywhere Empty wallet on the floor The flashing radio clock Late a.m. I wish that siren would stop I got those Sunday morning Paranoid blues Sugar man gave me a line, he made me feel fine. Just wandered off hard, dark glasses, dry cough. Empty wallet on the floor, flashing radio clock. Lady, yeah, I wish that parking would stop. I got those Sunday morning. Paranoid blues. Yeah. Can't find my mobile, I must have left it in your room Bruised and abused from a self and juice Caused empty wallet on the floor Flash a radio clock Lady, yeah, I wish that mowing would stop I got no Sunday morning Paranoid Well, the news of the day interrupted my haze and my alarmed overlook. Feeling slightly crazed, I grabbed the nearest clean T-shirt. Christ, I must look a sight. What? What? What party wouldn't I do? Got those Sunday morning paranoid blues. I got those Sunday morning. I got those Sunday morning paranoid blues. 
<laughs> well, we can have a chat about your next song because we've had a few technical difficulties this yeah. morning getting started. And, the, yeah. and, and this particular song, and you'll get me head in the photo, um, is, uh, is called High Technology Blues. And uh, so where did this one come from? Where, where well, I mean, I was having a terrible time. I was, you know, stuffing around with my computer and having all sorts of problems with uploads and downloads and everything. Mm. And I got myself in such a state, I was not going to throw the uh, apple out through the window, uh -huh. even though it was a window. No, sorry. <laughs> um, go throw it out through the window. And I thought, jeez, I was so mad. And I thought, oh, hey, hey, hold on. Um, maybe I could write a song about this. And uh, that's when I decided I'd, um, I'd write a song called High technology blues, you know. So okay. that's how that came about. Mm. Was yeah, okay, and and then this song as the last one, you've got um, the, uh, the the Mongolian sort of throat singing thing going on as well throughout part of the song. Yes. Yeah, would you, Would you come up with that sort of um, uh, yeah. idea to incorporate that into your music? Well, it was a Mongolian chat room. Oh uh, no, it wasn't. <laughs> no. Um, it was um, virtually. Uh, it was. Um, I've always loved sounds and um, every, everything from Al Jarreau to Ella Fitzgerald, scatting, the voice is an instrument. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's so free. And when I heard the um, Mongolian singing one day, I just thought, wow, that's amazing because they're using a double mm. breath. And the Inuits, the Eskimos use it, uh, tuva. And so do the Bulgarian ladies who were over at the Woodford Festival a couple of years ago. Yeah. Um, they were singing tuva. And, and I actually had the opportunity of singing with the Tibetan throat singers. Okay. Because I was there at Woodford and they ran around looking for me oh. and said, Barry. Was that like the, uh, the, the New Year's Day morning ceremony thing that they yeah, do? Yeah, it was like up a on bit, the hill? It was a bit of like a jam, you know. Mm. And, and, uh, I went up to their tent and they were all sitting there and he sat me down in a lotus thing. Took me half Go an on, hour. Go on, cramping your leg for that one. Well, it took me half an hour to get it. <laughs> anyway, so, but that was the most amazing experience. And they told me a few techniques with their breathing and everything, which is like a circular breathing, similar to a didge you're doing. A, yeah, yeah, it sort of reminds around. me of that. But so, First time I heard it, it was a bit like that... Um, country and western song you know i was born <laughs> <laughs> under a warm star well it was in my repertoire for all that one was it yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no um, that's that's how it all sort of came in and uh, yeah. i just think it adds a bit of color to yeah it does songs. well i've never heard anyone else do it on the coast that said you're pretty unique with that yeah. so and yeah, and uh, uh and uh, you got the gifted guitarist of paul to be able to follow you along with his with your with your voice it's amazing. one of our projects is actually to do a lot more of that in our show yeah because we do yeah, yeah we can come back when we've got some of that down mm. we can come back we'll, we'll yeah. come back and do some for you which you uh, if that's okay yeah of course yeah, mm. yeah. Okay. good luck <laughs> Take it away guys Too many buttons, huge plasma screens Too many choices, don't be our schemes Latest today, obsolete tomorrow Gotta get it now, written by a borrow Too many options, some are really confused I got no High technology, gotta have one of those Cause I got those high technology <laughs> Cause everything's changing, changing so fast Sometimes I feel like a blast from the past My space, YouTube, terabytes and spam A cyber world house with a Facebook fan Yeah, too many options, worried and confused I got those Gotta have me one of those, gotta get me one of those Guess I got those high technology Oh, 
envie de vomir. Channels just not enough days. Remote controls and instant replays. Where's our privacy? It's all on display. Tomorrow is tomorrow is now, and history's yesterday. Too many options, worried and confused. I got those. Gotta have one of those. Gotta get me one of those. Guess I got those. I think. Tomorrow is now history is history. Yesterday. Yeah. Technology. I technology. It's high technology. High technology. Awesome. So you can see the uh, the range in this guy's voice is amazing. And the guitars just sound so great together. Thank, thank you, Mark. Thank Pity you. you've only been together a few months. I'm looking forward to some new stuff as well. Yeah. Yep. Somewhere around. Thank so you. you both come from uh, other places. We all come from somewhere. And <laughs> you were born in Mornington, Victoria. Yes, down Mornington Peninsula. Uh, uh, but actually, I was born in Chelsea Hospital. Oh, and yes. we stayed there for a little while when I was... You know, when you were little. Little, yeah, very yeah, little. Yeah, yeah. And then went to Chelsea. Uh, yeah. And then we... Uh, then went to Mornington. And uh, uh, I lived there for quite a few years until, you know, uh, I moved up to Melbourne later on. Um, and, uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, well, it's not that far from Melbourne to um, the peninsula, is it? Just no. Half an hour. Just get hour. on the train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pretty boring road. Yeah. You know, it's all right. Yeah, and on a um, on a personal level, then uh, when you're about what 15 months old or so, you were diagnosed with a um, quite a serious illness at that time. Yeah, well, polio was a bit uh, from 19, late 1940s to the early 50s was a bit a big epidemic of it in Australia, mm. um, and actually they didn't know what to do about it. They were really running around with pulling the hair out, how are we going to cure this? Because there was no vaccines and no nothing. Mm. And uh, so uh, my parents actually thought I had teething trouble. I was just starting to walk and run and everything. I was starting to scream and roll around in pain. And they took me to a specialist in Melbourne because the local GP said, oh, it's just teething trouble to be over sure. Mum said, no, it's not it's more than that. And uh, she took me to a, a Melbourne, very good Melbourne hospital, and they said, no, he's got polio. Wow. Uh, so how did they determine, like I suppose they do blood tests or something, do they? Yeah, they, they yeah. could tell. And the pain and that was just ongoing. And uh, mm. and I, I, was, I couldn't walk. 
I was just starting to walk. Mum mm. saying, he, he just started to walk last week and now he can't walk. What's going on? So that's when they, for a couple of weeks there, we were in quarantine. Mm-hmm. We, we didn't see anybody except for one of my auntie, her name was Auntie Goody because mm. she was a good lady and she always, she didn't, she wasn't related to the family, but she was a good friend of mum's. Mm. Anyway, but it was quite interesting because when COVID hit us recently, mm. I had a big flashback and I thought, wow, that's... Back in I, lockdown. I was in lockdown. I was yeah. in, you know, so they sent me to this hospital. Mm. Uh, it was a crippled children's home for a while and then uh, I came up to Queensland and I was at Oxley in the Montrose Children's Hospital mm-hmm. for three and a half years. Okay. And mum and dad sort of saw me once every two weeks. Oh, so pretty hard life to start, eh? Anyway, the main thing is I still play guitar and sing. That's right, that's and the main thing. I would say there's always a positive of this. Mm. Um, out of it came Paul. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And also out of it came <sighs> that I could sing. Yes, yes. So, Paul, you, you, you were um, born in Sydney. Yeah, and you play music down there? But yeah, played lots of music down there. Played with um, a lot of original artists down there. Mm-hmm. Um, moved up about 18 years ago with the young family. So yeah. I gave music a bit of a break while, you know, kids were growing up at school. Yeah. Uh, and probably the last couple of years just started to get back into it. Yeah. And uh, so that's why we, Barry and I come together. We, It's interesting because we, we're both used to playing on our own. Yeah. So even that's been a learning curve because we, you know, we used to just do our own thing and suddenly <laughs> put two of us together. Yeah. Uh, so, and it's interesting that, that that becomes part of the journey because while it influences the music that we do, how we do it. Yeah, so, well, you complement each other, you know, it's really, yeah, really well. Yeah, so, and, and yeah. I think the best thing is we haven't put any hard timelines on what we're doing. It's just, it's mm. been very organic. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, really enjoying it. Mm. So, mm. Yeah. What, uh, what, what gigs have we got lined up in, in the coming... Well, we're, next week weeks. we're heading up to the, um, uh, Winter the Winter Moon Festival. Winter Moon Festival. And they, yeah. it's funny, because they rang me last year and booked me as a solo. Okay. And... Uh, now you got to double the pay rate. And <laughs> no, well, it's... It, it's, it's it, it, that's what's so good, because I, I said to them, I can't do it without my friend Paul playing for mm. me and playing with me yeah and they said that's fine so um mm. uh and where yeah, is this festival uh outside Mackay. um where's it called Cameron. yeah camera pocket, sort of pocket yeah suburb. it's about okay. yeah it's Go about 10 hours from, from here yeah is that like inland from Mackay? yeah and and the other gigs i've got is my uh i've got my birthday coming up on may the 27th and I'll be 50 years on the coast playing, right. and I'm having a big uh, thing at the Majestic Theatre in Pomona that night. Um, I've decided that I, I, to I give myself a present, and I've invited a whole lot of bands to play for me, oh, nice. as well as doing my own thing. Yeah. And Paul, Paul and I are playing, yeah. May, what date in May? May 27th. May 27th. Saturday night, Pomona Majestic Theatre. Yeah, that, that place is haunted, isn't it? I've heard little stories about that place. Oh, it is. Oh, <laughs> I mean... I'm scared to get in the shower in the green room. <laughs> well, we're also playing uh, with some others this this Sunday. Oh yeah. At, oh sorry. Uh, our Fresco's Cafe, yeah. which is on Noosa Monday Road, from on twelve to three p.m. Yep. Nice. That's Barry and I, and um, well, we're sort of in a couple of uh, we're in a band called the Gangsters. The Gangsters. They've all got yeah. criminal records, <laughs> and um, that's and so and it's a bit of like a party band. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Great yeah. food, great music. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. yeah. Yep. It's one of the re- ways we sort of got to know each other through that. Yeah, yeah. It's an acoustic gig, or you uh, full, no, band. full band, full band. Yeah, yeah, yeah full so. band, and uh, mm. yep. yeah. Um, and that's a Croy. Sorry, your Monday Noosa Road. Your Monday Noosa Road. Uh, so yeah. it's yeah. just heading out of your Monday towards Noosa. Yeah, uh, it's on the right hand side there. It's a, it's with a big landscaping. Oh yeah, I know. A fresco yeah. yeah. cafe. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, and then we've got the muster a few years ago. Um, <clears throat> the Gippy Music Muster. Yeah, we've got mm-hmm. them. And, and the Kilkeven Blues and Roots Festival. Uh, that's about it at the moment. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yep. we'll keep practicing. <laughs> <laughs> 
a couple of old masters, everything will come together pretty quickly. We'll, I'm sure. we'll get there. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it was, um, since your first gig in 1973 or something, wasn't it? But, yes. Mm. Oh, well, uh, yeah, the first gig I did was um, at the Reef Hotel with my, a friend of mine, Andy, and uh, we went up to the pub and I said, oh, Andy, we should go up to the pub on Friday night. So you have this you can get to a lot of parties and you meet a lot of girls and I said look why don't we take our guitars and just sit at a table and start playing mm. and uh, the manager came over and said what's going on you guys you weren't booked to play and then he we did a couple of songs he came over and said listen um, uh, here's a couple of jugs of beer um, they're yours don't have to pay for them and he said I want to book you next week mm. so we got really pissed <laughs> and uh, as we left the pub uh, we drive I said back we got to go and spruik this. We'll go drive down Hastings Street and tell everybody we're playing at the pub next week. So anyway, I decide a bright idea to sit on the bonnet of the car while we're going down the hill and we're driving on. I'm going, don't forget, we're on next Saturday, playing next Saturday. And I'm sitting there yelling and screaming at people. Next time I see a blue light's come along with the police who've sort of drawn up alongside me. And I'm going... Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Andy, stop the car. And the driver, pull over, please, now. And I said, what are you doing? What are you thinking of? I said, I'm just advertising. And they said, well, uh, if you don't uh, get back in the car now, I'm going to uh, arrest you and put you in, <laughs> take you to the lock-up. Oh, so yeah. that, was a, that was the first gig we did uh, yeah. up, up in Noosa, up at that time. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So... Uh, you so, not going to uh, get away with that one. And then think, his brother yeah. saw me, his son saw me about six months ago mm. and he said, he's looking at me going, my father told me about you. <laughs> You're that guy that did the, um, uh, on the bonnet mm -hmm. of the car. I said, oh, yes, right, yes, that's yeah, Don't listen to the children. Don't get into bad habits. Anyway, yeah. that's the first and thing. And <clears throat> speaking about um, picking up, you know, good women, etc. cetera, at, um, at gigs, etc. you found yourself a... A good one that's been by your side for for pretty much forever now. Um, uh, thirty four years. Thirty four years. Yeah, that's, yeah. I met um, Diana at a, a a restaurant in uh, playing at a restaurant called Gaston's in Sunshine Beach, and I was a pretty regular gig. And um, she was had got the job waitressing there, and uh, she just walked through the door and smiled at me, and that was it. Oh. I've never felt that before, <laughs> and that was it. So we've yeah. been together since then. So oh, nice! Yeah. The best secretary roadie I've ever had. Yeah, great team. Mm. Yeah, well, uh, last time uh, you performed here, actually, you, you actually did a song uh, about Diana, and I, I'm not going to put it on you to play it, but you know, but it was a really nice song. I mean, lyrically, I, I had, I even shed a little tear. It was that. It was. It was it was a really nice song, but look, it's up to you. I just thought maybe you might want to play one more. Um, I know you guys wouldn't have had a chance to play it together. This this is the amazing thing about Paul. He, mm. I'm putting it on you now. <laughs> he better, but he picks up very quickly. Yeah, he better improvise. I think he better improvise with it. Yeah, because yeah. oh. it's look, it's uh, for you, Marty. Uh, sure, and I uh, appreciate it. And. Um, uh, yeah. We've got to learn it anyway, so yeah, yeah. Why, yeah. Do it now? Why not? Why not? <laughs> yeah. So this is the first. This, yeah, yeah. This is this is the first one for Paul. I've just sprung it on him, but uh, yeah, it's a, a beautiful song for for um, for Dana, um, Barry's beautiful wife, and all the support. Uh, call me with love, with love, and the story behind it was uh, we were living in England for a couple of years, and I got I got homesick for Australia, and so Diana sent me back, and I was missing her a lot, so that's why we I wrote this song. Oh, beautiful. All right. Good luck with this one, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. you call me, call me with love, let me know, let me know that I'm the one you're thinking of, won't you call me, please don't delay. 
lay Please don't let our love Just fade away There are oceans between us Time zones apart Think of you every day I climb the mountains I fly the skies Just to be with you Why won't you call me? Call me with love. Let me know, let me know. I'm the one you're thinking of. Won't you call me? Call me with love. Let me know, let me know, let me know. I'm, I'm the one. I'm so hard. I think of you every day. I climb the mountains. There's no other way. So this I don't. Well done, mate. And thank, thank you, Barry, for playing that for me. No Great song. Hey. Yeah, thank really you. nice. Thank you. And again, still, I don't know how you whistle like that, man. Especially, you know, I'd be like <laughs> blowing up a balloon. I would be able to get the whistle out. I don't know how you do it. Um, <laughs> well, it's it's interesting because I learned to whistle at a very early age because I used to have to – I wore these calipers and I used to have to walk to school with my brothers mm. and occasionally I'd fall over in the gutter – Chasing the icy pole stick as it went down the, in, <laughs> floating down the, and I fall over, and they would have gone about uh, two hundred yards ahead of me, and so I I learned to whistle, and I, go, you know, and yeah. that was my way of getting their attention, getting their attention. So, and mm. uh, I, I'm a bird watcher ah. as well. I do I, bird, I do. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See? So um, I, I, I've, I've done that sort of thing with the birds and mm. that's a way of... I'd still whistle at Diana and she goes, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> when I get her yeah. attention, you know. <laughs> but thanks, Marty. Yeah, thanks. Look, it's been great having you guys here again at BDJ and uh, I'm sure it won't be the last time we'll be here. BDJ uh, Backdoor Jam Sessions, uh, it costs nothing to subscribe. The numbers are important, so... If you just get on board and like the page, join, sign up. As I said, cost nothing supporting original musicians on the coast. Um, it's it's a good thing. Can I just yeah. say thank you to Greg yeah. of course, and yes. the guys for, for yeah. doing this because mm. it's and 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 uh, uh, sorry of uh, and just oh, yeah. putting the time in and it's such a, a, a really yeah. wonderful way. For us to work in this situation in the studio, and also it's it's, it's great exposure for us as yes, well, yes. and it's it's wonderful that you put the energy and time. And I'd like to say thank you very much. Oh, it's our pleasure. Yeah. All right, give the hand. All right, that's a wrap. Thanks very much, guys. Thank you.